playing lantern against one of our teammates. Uh, he offered to me to play the deck because he saw me watching the game. And I play a few games and he told me, no man, you should play this deck for sure. And the X-Rack is a shit, so play this. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> the X-Rack is bad. And play this, I will play Storm. And two days ago, three days ago, I decided the deck and Wow, that decision certainly paid off for you here. Now you're going to be taking this yeah, trophy. Yeah. And a swing with both. Top card will be shown. Reveals. Steam vents. That's going to go into Hoey's hand. That's an extra card, though. It's not yeah. one that does much in the way of comboing. Now Lightning Bolt, though, will take care of the Eidolon. Hoey down to 18, and then it'll be to 16. But he's got an extra card. Or wait. So let's talk about being punished here. Oh, okay. No. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Boros Charm, that's indestructible. Send that's me all your good wishes because I'm never going to have the chance to do this again. All I want is a Black Lotus. Come on. Here we go. Black Lotus live on the stream. It is! Look! It is! It's a Black Lotus! It's a 2014 Lotus Exceed! Look! Look! Oh! Oh, I've done it! I've done it! It's a Black Lotus! Yes! Yes! Oh, my God! Oh, oh. I'm going to open it. Alan's future prospects are somewhat dampened by the fact that most of the cards he can draw just don't have any effect. Alan actually does have a few answers here, however. He has two copies of Council's Judgment in his sideboard that he likely brought in. On top of that, he has a second copy of Gideon Ally of Zendikar. Look at this. Th this is He's going to demand all three days. Triple days? <laughs> Josh has oh. days is for days here. He does. <laughs> days. The hard cast. Return Alan knows what's coming. Land. Alan knows what's coming. He's like, oh my goodness, do you really have three days? In? Unbelievable. Three <laughs> Tread of Night. Three days. And that battle. Arguably the best deck in the format. However, for Scott, this is not a particularly good matchup. Thalia is one reason. Kite Sail Freebooter is another. And you're about to find out why this matchup's not good. Scott said that. All right, that's great. I want to give Scott a lot of credit here. I ran into him before this match started. And he told me, game one, if he has Metally Mage, he would just concede. Mm -hmm. Would not go to try to drag this out to some Electromancer Baral beatdown sort of comedy fest. Good Le for him. Less than a minute. A Steven's Scott. Peter Tebergen right now. Steven's on your left, Tebergen on your right. Both these players 10 and 2, number 6 and 28 respectively on the SCG Tour leaderboard. It's Green White Company versus Affinity. And it looks like Tebergen is going to be on the play with the Dark Souls Citadel, a Mox. Oh, boy. Steel Overseer. So yeah. Path or bust. Well, it's Noble Hierarch, which isn't a bad card, but it's no path for that Steel Overseer. And Tebergen's going to follow up here with a cheese. And we're done. We're done. I was actually about Just to say, and we're on to game two. We are done here. But, but, uh, but like, sarcastically, like I typically do. But Todd got it, and then Matt and I both realized yeah. that someone would be I feel like it didn't take long enough it that was, I should he, get he a warning. He didn't say but anything, but it was like a tip off. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to um, infract the penalty failure to maintain. There is... Um, while these penalties don't upgrade, okay, I'm, I'm still going to lose that. Uh, that seems weird to me, but uh, I don't really care that much. Okay. But uh, it so seems pretty unfair do is because this cannot be cast. We're going to put all against command back in the hand. Uh, did you have mana in your pool to cast that spell? Just tap these three ones. Okay. So we're going to untap those. You, you tap those after announcing the spell. As, yeah, as part of the casting spell. Sure. Okay. Uh, priority will be yours. All right. Okay. Thanks, Joe. And Sorry about that. And just to clarify, so both of us are getting a warning, or he's getting a warning. Warning for game rule violation. You'll have a warning for failure to maintain the use. Cool. Okay, it's one to five. So, yeah. All right, that was fine. Fish for one. Uh, Wow, Reed resolves Jason my sculptor, fate seals targeting Chris, and says, "You may keep that one." Oh, I'm sorry. He is not allowed to attack with the right. Strix. It did come into play this turn. Yeah. GRV. That's fine. Thank you. You heard the judge say GRV, which is game rule violation for Terminus. Reed, and it's a miracle Terminus for Stitson. Wow. 
Are you sure about that, Judge? Because I thought I cast... I thought I cast him to Turok and Jace this turn. You... Culligan's on his turn. I, I used the Culligan's command, I killed his monk and returned this, and cast this. And then this is the following turn where I played him and Jace. Oh wait, you're right. Continue. Ignore me. It's okay, thanks for looking out. So, so down to four. That's 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 <laughs> yeah, a fine that's solution. Okay. Alright. Alright, so they got that sorted out. Second son. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are in game two. Whoa! What is this? <laughs> what is happening? Well, which are, which of the invocations is that? That's a, so it's a Gideon's intervention on approach to second, and then now an invocation has been cast. How many? How much mana did he cast? Did he spend six ish? Six mana. The Gideon's. We're we're getting a read on it from yeah, here, yeah. just because like those ones I can't uh, identify just by. For, it's hard visuals. to see. The, yeah, yeah, it's hard to see. But apparently it costs six mana. It looks like it might have been Austere Command. <laughs> 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 to blow up the Gideon's intervention. Wait, so this wasn't used for any kind of sweeper effect. It was only used to get the... So this means that Nathan has already cast Approach of the Second <laughs> Sun, right? Bringer. Oh my goodness. Did he just draw Glorybringer off the top of the library? So it's that... always at 11. Is there any way he can swing this around? So he blocks Hazaret. He takes 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Glory Are you killed, serious? Glory Bringer kills Are you Chain serious Roller. right now? That, that's 11. But Hazret gets blocked. Kari Zev is 3. Full Star Mage is 1. Chain Roller is 3. 11. Glory Bringer is 4. Did he just that's 11 damage. the pro <laughs> Glory Bringer off the top for Wyatt Darby? He's done the math. Oh, he sends it in. Boy. Cleals the Chain Whirler. All Pinto can do is look <laughs> at lethal damage. He can't what? believe that Wyatt Darby just stole the Pro Tour from him. Oh my god, that was the only card. You know what they're asking right now is, did he get Raghavan onto the battlefield, but it looked uh, like he did from here. As far as the Pro Tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got the Raghavan. I, Obviously. Yeah. And how is Hollow on a 4-4? It doesn't even have hands. Yeah, you know, that's a really good question. Yeah, this is an R&D thing that you guys need to figure out. Now, see, Vengevine does have hands. Oh, yeah, it has, like, really big tree hands. Yeah, kind of thorny, yeah. But it only has three toughness. That's right. That's but it's right. a tree. That I, I don't get it. Yeah, like, it's a little weird. Yeah, like, Hollow One, he's hollow. How does he have power and toughness? Seriously. I would expect him to be a 1-1. One -one. A paper mache guy with no hands, and he's a 4-4? Four -four? My goodness. Like, I would expect him to be, like, when he takes damage, destroy him. Yeah, just falls apart. Yeah. Turns into dust. Yeah, I like it. You should be an R&D. <laughs> I'm not sure. Thanks. That's quite how R and D works, Marshall. <laughs> I have no idea. He how doesn't R &D. have hands. You should destroy him when you touch him. I, I'm. <laughs> maybe I feel like Melissa and I that... really kind of cracked the code here, but we might be a little off. Facing Upbound Ravager, two Upbound Ravager, but then moving a counter onto Walking Ballista with the Upbound Ravager that was sacrificed ability. Yep. Uh, but this should also uh, probably be uh, be enough. Oh, it was four, four skip shift. shifts. Oh my Incredible. goodness. Incredible. You can see the look on Ben's sex face. He dodged four.